Now, whether you're in the middle of your dreadlock journey or you're in just in the beginning stages of your dreadlock journey, there are some things that you need to consider when it comes to getting a lineup for your dreadlocks. Because when you think about it, when you get a lineup, it takes your dreadlocks from here to this. Well, maybe that's a little bit exaggerated, but you know, when I thought about it, you know, I thought that was a perfect scenario. But in this video today, we're gonna to be talking about the five things that you need to consider when getting a lineup with your dreadlocks. Let's roll that intro. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. If you don't already know, my name is Benny Matthews. Now, where are all my lockers at, man? Locker gang, locker gang. Go ahead and leave the lock emoji in the comment box down below and do me a favor right quick. Go ahead and hit that like button for your boy because we about to get into the video right here, right now. Let's get right into it. These are the five things that you must consider when getting a lineup for your dreadlocks. We're starting off with number one. The first thing that you must consider when getting a lineup is you must know exactly what you want, okay? Whether that means just a nice lineup, you want a temp fade, or you want a high top, know what you want so you can let your barber know what you want, okay? You do not want to be in a situation where you just sit in the chair and you look at your barber and say, hey man, go ahead and do what you do. And then after he did what he did, you do not like what he did at all. It's the worst feeling at all, man. Don't get me wrong, if you trust your barber, yo, let your barber do his thing, man. Let him work his magic. But only you know what you want, okay? And it's okay to let your barber, you know, just freestyle a bit, but at the end of the day, you're paying this man, okay? And then you're gonna tip this man. You better be tipping out there. And if you're gonna tip the man, if you're gonna go to him for his service, yo, Make sure you know exactly what you want. So just, just guide your barber, you know, okay? Of course, he's a master at his craft, but you need to give him the directions, okay? You're the captain and he's the co-captain, okay? It's teamwork, you know? Teamwork make the dream work. So the first thing that you must know is to know exactly what you want for your locks. All right, now the second thing that you must consider before getting a lineup is, yo, know exactly who is going to line you up. This is very important, folks, because a lot of you guys just go blindly into a barbershop. Hey, man, you open, boom, let me get my lineup from you. Dude has no skills. Now, don't get me wrong. I know he's in a barbershop. I know he got a license. But you guys know, all right? You get what you pay for. You guys know when you walk into a barbershop and there ain't nobody waiting for that barber over there, that's, that's, that says a lot, man. Know exactly who your barber is gonna be. It takes nothing just to do some research. Most of these barbers these days, yo, they have an Instagram profile. Look them up. Because in the end of the day, some barbers may be good at, you know, doing temp fades. Some barbers may be good at doing, you know, just lineups. Know what you're working with, man. I used to have a barber personally. Yo, he was good, phenomenal at, at cutting my son's hair. Phenomenal job, but when it came to my lineups, man, he was just slacking. It's just like he was just hesitating. He just didn't know what to do. That was my fault because I just assumed that, you know, just because he does my son's haircut, he could do my lineup. And it wasn't the business, man. I stopped going to that man, but yo, when it comes to my son, he does a phenomenal job. So the second thing that you guys must consider is, yo, actually know who your barber is and what he's capable of doing. All right, now the third thing that you must consider in order to avoid ruining your dreadlocks and your lineup is, yo, get a lineup after you get your hair done, okay? Get your lineup temp fade after the dreadlocks, okay? Let me explain. So, if you go into a barbershop, okay, your hair's not done, okay? You're giving your barbershop so much leverage, so much to work with. He doesn't know where your part starts. He doesn't know where the dreadlock starts. So he's just gonna keep clipping and clipping and clipping and trimming down until he finds something that's comfortable for him. No, 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 no. These are your locks. This is your head. You need to get your locks established first before you go to him. So he'd be like, all right, this is what I'm working with. This is what I gotta do. Don't give your barber the freedom to do whatever he wants because once he does what he wants, like I said before, man, he may do something that you just may not approve, but it's your fault because you let him do that. So the third thing that you must consider is, yo, get your locks done first. 
I don't really think that's a big problem, man, but I do see some guys who suggest, you know, getting a lineup first thing in your hair done. It may work. If your barber's that good, great. But for the majority of you guys, yo, get your hair done first, then get your lineup. All right, now the fourth thing that you must consider in order to avoid messing up your lineup with your dreadlocks is like, yo, man, you got to wear something when you go to bed with your locks, okay? I don't even know why I even have to say this, but this goes without being said. Like, yo, you gotta sleep with something to protect your locks, okay? Not only are you protecting your locks, you're protecting your lineup too, my G, okay? Because like I said, yo, at the end of the day, all you're doing is putting your head into the pillow, and yo, it can make your lineup go this way, that way, that, yo, it's, 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 it's not a good thing, yo. Protect your lineup, protect your locks, get a do-rag, get a bonnet, I don't care what it is. As long as it's something that's nice and silky, that will hydrate your hair, maybe some nice compression to your locks, yo, get something to protect your locks, especially your lineup when you go to bed, okay? You're already spending money on your barber to, you know, line you up. You might as well spend an extra two, three dollars to get something to protect what he's done. So, at the end of the day, protect your locks, that way you will avoid ruining your lineup. Last but not least, the last thing that you want to consider when it comes to your dreadlocks is, yo, get a nice little brush, okay? I didn't really start getting a brush until, I'm going to say about last year, and it's a huge difference, man. I thought I can just wake up and just do what it do because I have my locks, so nobody's really paying attention to my lineup. No, no, no. No, no, no. And especially with type of lock, especially like if you get a temp fade or you have high top locks, like, yo, your locks may be clean, but maybe all you need is a nice little brush, little bam, 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 and it looks like it's all going one way. Trust me, man. Just imagine, yo, the guys that get the waves, what they do all the time. They brush their hair all the time to get their hair to go one direction. You need that same direction when it comes to your lineup. Sometimes you need it, sometimes you don't. But for the guys who need it, yo, Get a brush. It's, it's it's that simple, man. Like I said, I just started getting a brush not too long ago. Cause because along with that, I brush my lineup and I also brush my beard. So last but not least, get a brush for your lineups. You'll be all good. And just like that, those were the five things that you want to consider when it comes to getting a lineup with your dreadlocks. Let me know in the comment box down below if you guys agree or disagree or did I miss something. In the meantime, guys, go ahead and hit the like button and into the next video, guys. My name is Vinny Matthews. I'm out.